Hello, hello, hello. Thanks for listening to the Barbara Cox podcast. Today's question, do you need the spotlight? Today's question once again, do you need the spotlight? And again, do you need the spotlight? You don't need the spotlight. Everything will be all right. Just hold down. You do not need the spotlight. A lot of times through our life, we're doing things so that we can get recognition of man, so that we can get affirmation from man. But all we have to do is acknowledge God and receive the confirmation from him as we move throughout our day, as we begin to hear his voice more and more, is give us our assignment. You have to understand your assignment. You have to receive your assignment. You have to know what your job duties are on your assignment. And the only person that can tell you that is God. God begins to tell you the plans he has for your life, the plans, the purpose, because there is a, an assignment that he has ordained for you to operate from that gift, the purpose that he's given you for your entire life. But a lot of times we get caught up in the gifts. We get caught up in the hype. We get caught up in everything that people perceive of us to where we begin to feel like we need to be in a spotlight. We need to be, uh, where everybody can see us and everybody know our name and our name is in big, big bright lights, but it's not the spotlight. It's the light of Christ that must shine through you. God uses you to bring others to him. We have to glorify him. We have to raise up the mighty name of God. It's the spotlight that a lot of people are uh, are drawn to, but that's not what is needed. What is needed is for the light of Christ to shine through you as it draws others to him. So I don't need a spotlight. I need to allow God to operate through me. I need to allow the Holy Spirit to move freely through me. I need to allow the light of Christ to to draw others to him using the gifts that he has placed in me, not for my self gratification, but for the glory of God. So do I need the spotlight? No. Do we need the spotlight? No, we need to make sure that we are hearing the voice of God and we are operating because there is someone out there who needs to see your light shining through you. It's not about being an entertainer underneath the spotlight. It's about being a, a, a person that is willing to allow the light of Christ to shine through you. That's allowing the Holy Spirit to move freely through you. That's allowing the gifts that God is giving you for you to operate under the anointing as God has placed an anointing on you. And you have to stay in tune with God. You have to allow the the, the voice of God to be heard clearly so that you are operating under the anointing that he's already smeared on you from the crown of your head to the sole of your feet. As he begins to pour into you, you pour out into others. As he fills you up, you fill up others. Queens inspire queens. Kings inspire kings. There must be words of wisdom that flow out of you because God is pouring wisdom into you and you pour wisdom out. When you begin to speak, there should be a a profound word that comes out of you that shifts atmospheres. You must be an atmosphere shifter. You must be a peacemaker. You must be a person that's willing and able to operate under the strong power the anointing as it breaks the yokes in others' lives. So you can't get caught up on the spotlight. You have to allow the light that shines in you to flicker and to draw others to God. So do are you do you need a spotlight? No. You need to allow the light of Christ that shines through you to draw others to him. That's what is needed in this season. We need people that are carrying a light on the inside so that people are drawn. We need people that lift up the name of Jesus because it draws others to God. We need people to gravitate to that which is inside of you that God placed there and now he has need of it. No, we don't need the spotlight. We need the light of Christ to shine through us. So thanks again, once again, for listening to the Barbara Cox podcast. Today's question, once again, do you need the spotlight? And the answer is no. The light of Christ must shine through you. The light of Christ must shine through you. 
Acknowledge him in everything as he directs your path. Throughout your path, there are people that are strategically placed there to assure that you fulfill your ordained assignment. But there are also people that are placed in your path that are assigned to you. And the blood of their lives is on your hands. That light that's in you is imperative that you must allow it to shine, that it draws others to God. So don't get caught up in the spotlight, but allow God to shine the light through you because somebody out there is in need of it. So thanks for listening to the Barbara Cox podcast. Bye-bye.